protect all of today's Ford light trucks. Born of tradition, nurtured by pride, Budweiser Light with a clean, distinctive taste. A light beer worthy of the king of beers. Bring out your best. Bring out your best. The best never comes easy. Budweiser Light. That's why there's nothing else like it. Budweiser Light. Round number eight, a very poised and confident looking Tony Baltazar coming out against Howard Davis the Olympic gold medalist in 1976. And it is interesting that while he is five years older than Balazar, they've had almost an equal number of pro fights. Balazar has had one more. Two actually counting a no decision. But Davis has been in with much better opposition, Tim, so he's the more experienced fighter by far. I was about to say I'd like to see Balazar double, up, double that left hookup, and he did it. Davis, uh, victories over Jose Fernandez, Vilamar Fernandez, the brothers. Termite Watkins, Larry Stanton, Claude Noel. Davis is standing still now, Tim. He's going to have to start the fight. I guess he knows that. Standing still. No more bouncing around now. But Davis can't reach and lean back because once again, the left hook of Balthazar has been landed. That's the best punch for Balthazar, that left jab to the body because it sets up all his other punches. He should just keep that left jab to the body. Moves Howard back, sets up the other punches. Good combination by Davis. Excellent combination scored by Howard Davis. Left to the ear. I think for Davis to be effective, he needs to pop once in a while, jab to the body, jab to the head, step to the side, just give different angles. Not one stationary target. Well, on Balazar's part, he's got to be throwing more punches than he is. So Big far left this hook round. by Balthazar, Tim, again. But you see what happens. David throws a, fl a flurry, right? He throws a lot of punches, but not really heavy punches. So Balthazar doesn't respect that, and he throws a bomb. Banging to the body with both hands. Both hands now, Balthazar. All right, Balthazar blocked Davis' left hook, but was the hardest punch that Howard threw in a fight. He really set to let that one go. Another combination sneaks through. And another left sends Davis down again. A sneaky left hook from Balazar. Davis once again up quickly and signals his corner. He's all right, but he has been down twice. This kid is unbelievable, right? Without question, championship material. Tony Balazar stalking Davis now. That gets a rise from the crowd here at Resorts International. Tim, he's so composed. Balazar, I mean, he keeps his cool. He walks in, and he knows what he's doing. He sets up that left hook very Ray, well. he told us he's been fighting since he's six years old. He comes from a fighting family, and he sure as, sure as heck looks like it. Well, that tells you the, the type of competition there is in the amateur division. Under 30 seconds to go, and... Round number eight. Tony Balazar has only gone 10 rounds twice in his career. He flattens most people. 19 knockouts and 23 wins. He's into round number eight here. Final seconds of the eighth round, and Balazar has scored two knockdowns. I'm late. I'm late. Hi. We know little things going wrong can be a big nuisance when you travel. That's why at American Airlines, we spend over a million dollars a day making sure everything goes right. From important inspections out here, to making sure everything works in here. Thanks. Don't reach out there. Looking into Howard Davis's corner here, he has been down twice at the hands of Tony Balazar. Let's see that left hook again. And watch the combination by Davis. Well, you see what's happened. Davis throwing those little shots, and that bomb comes by Balthazar. The combinations by Davis don't move him. He doesn't move Balthazar, so therefore Balthazar can counter with that big hook. See, he doesn't move him at all. Balazar just standing there, taking uh, the punches that obviously didn't bother him and unloading with that fearsome left hook of his. You and he see, comes out quickly. Go ahead, you Ray. You might see a change in uh, Davis. You know, Timmy talked earlier, he will fight when he knows to be behind. It was a close fight. And well, I'm the sure way we see it, he's behind right now, but it's still very close. 
Tim, they told Davis in the corner that he has to knock him out to win. But remember, in Jersey, they used the round system. Now, Davis may have won a lot of rounds. He's close rounds. We don't know. A knockdown only counts as one round unless they go to the points, if the rounds are even. Look at the strength of Bouts. Five points. Side. Supplemental must system. If the round is scored even, then the judges can go to their five-point must system. Davis knows that he has to land a big punch now, Tim. He's looking to land one. Watch what Bouts is doing. He's inside. Watch his uppercuts. He gets inside. He works. Davis by the uppercuts. Right, left uppercuts. And the only way Davis has been able to back him up is by literally pushing him off. Balazar plants and stays right there. Well, Davis is trying to plant now, Tim. He's trying to get into it, but he hasn't had that much experience as a slugger. This kid has great defense. He blocks every shot. Does he ever? He uses his hands. And, and he's talking to Davis now, Tim. He's talking to Davis. What a confident kid. Combination scored by Balazar. Davis picked it up and so reduced the impact as he went back. Those were scoring punches nonetheless. Davis is landing some lot. He's landing a lot of punches, but he needs more power behind his punches. Well, this is what he did with Norman Goins. He came back and it was the ninth round in the, in the Goins fight, too. He's nailing Tony with some pretty good punches now. You see, Tony, Balazar can't stand there and take those shots. Another left hook landed by Balazar. An exciting lightweight bout live from Atlantic City on CBS Sports Sunday. Olympic champion Howard Davis Jr. in a virtual unknown except in the state of California where they know all about Tony the Tiger Balazar. If I was Balthazar now, though, I'd stay low, Tim. He needs to stay Davis low, Davis is yeah. looking, to, looking to load up and nail him. And I notice that Balthazar comes up on his toes sometimes, which is a bad, very bad habit. Well, he is eager. He's been very poised throughout, but maybe he's getting a little too eager here. Enter a minute to go in the ninth round. He has had Davis down twice. The big difference is Davis doesn't move him with his punches, and Balthazar is able to come back with those big bombs. If he hit him solid, he'd move him back, and he wouldn't be able to counter. But he doesn't move him at all. He has four punches there. He didn't move the kid off his feet. Yeah, three of them are blocked, too. Under 30 seconds to go. Balthazar needs to stay real close. Solid left backs up Davis. He doesn't need to stay outside. Right hand just fell a little short. Left hook fell short from Balazar. Raised the chin of Davis. Out, work it out. Coming to the end of round number nine. Good, tough, lightweight foul. The tenth round's gonna be a losing. The standing quarter mile. This machine is about to attack it. A motorcycle that can turn 65 cubic inches into an incredible amount of horsepower. The Honda V65 Magna. It's about to become the world's fastest production motorcycle. Sure feels good taking it easy. Oh, what a day. I don't know what's tougher, roping steers or rashing them. It's times like now a guy really appreciates his scope. Just a pinch gives you real tobacco pleasure without lighting up. And that wintergreen flavor, that's really top notch. This is a mighty fine way to unwind. Go smokeless with Skoll or Copenhagen. A pinch is all it takes. Round number 10. Tony Balazar and Howard Davis Jr. And we have had a very exciting lightweight fight into the final round and it's dead even as we see it but remember Balazar has had Davis down twice so if the judges have to go to the points one would think uh, if we're seeing the fight correctly that they would have him slightly ahead Tim we have Balazar slightly ahead Davis would have to win this round to bring it even in rounds at least that's the way I have it scored and Ray has it scored it's a very, very close fight. It's a very close fight on the round system. And Davis is using, he's really landing some good punches now. is going to have to get busy with both hands instead of looking to load up with one punch. Inside, this is when both fighters should be throwing punches. Well, Howard predicted this. He said, if I have to fight, I'll fight. And he's fighting now. Again, Balazar, though, picking up those punches. But the judges, it's very difficult, Tim, as fast as Davis throws them. The judges may think they're landing, or maybe maybe we're not that quick with our eyes either. 
Well, that was very busy with his hands. Yeah, and you can get points for being that busy. I'm not uh, denying that. I'm just pointing out that Balazar did indeed block most of them. Doesn't mean that Howard shouldn't get credit for throwing more of them. It's such a subjective thing, scoring boxing. All right, now Howard looks a little tired. He came out fast in the beginning of the round. He looks a little tired. It may be Tony's turn now. It's been a very fast pace. His tempo has been very quick. And one thing about it, tables keep turning. All of a sudden, Balthazar comes on strong. Then right, Davis get out, get out, go. goes a couple, couple combinations, and he comes back. So Balthazar has not been as busy as he should be this round. I would agree with that, Gil Clancy. Here we're in the final round. It's been a very fast pace and fatigue in setting both fighters, but they're very confident, both fighters. Under a minute to go in the fight. And Davis is the aggressor now. First time he stepped forward in the fight. Hi, Howard. Let him go. Good, tough, lightweight fight by two classy professionals. And if Balazar was not ranked before, regardless of the outcome here, he should find himself in the top ten. He deserves right. to be there. Come on, get out. Get I out, wouldn't want out. to be the judge that's going to judge this fight. 